He is known for his achievements as an explorer, scientist, diplomat, and humanitarian. He is recognized for leading the first crossing of the Greenland interior and reaching a record northern latitude during his from expedition. His name is Fridjof Waddell Jarlsberg Nansen. Fridjof Waddell Jarlsberg Nansen, a Norwegian polymath and Nobel Peace Prize laureate, left an indelible mark on the world through his remarkable exploration, scientific contributions, diplomatic endeavors, and humanitarian work. Born on October 10, 1861, in Storfrone, near Christiania, now Oslo, Nansen's lifelong fascination with the polar regions began during his studies at the Royal Frederick University in Christiania, where he specialized in zoology. His research on the central nervous system of lower marine creatures earned him a doctorate and helped establish the Neuron Doctrine. In 1888, Nansen led a groundbreaking expedition that would solidify his reputation as an explorer. He successfully led the first crossing of the Greenland interior, traversing the vast island on cross-country skis. This extraordinary feat showcased Nansen's pioneering spirit and his ability to adapt to extreme conditions, leaving an enduring legacy in the field of polar travel. Nansen's greatest expedition came during the Frem expedition of 1893 to 1896, where he reached a record northern latitude of 86 degrees 14 minutes. The expedition's primary objective was to reach the North Pole, but they were unable to do to the drifting ice. Nonetheless, Nansen's innovative techniques, equipment, and clothing set new standards for Arctic exploration and influenced future expeditions in both the Arctic and Antarctic regions. After his return to Norway, Nansen shifted his focus to oceanography and made significant contributions to the field. He conducted numerous scientific cruises, mainly in the North Atlantic, and played a pivotal role in the development of modern oceanographic equipment. Beyond his scientific pursuits, Nansen also played a crucial role in diplomacy and politics. In 1905, he advocated for the end of Norway's union with Sweden and was instrumental in persuading Prince Karl of Denmark to accept the throne of the newly independent Norway. From 1906 to 1908, Nansen served as the Norwegian representative in London, where he actively participated in negotiations and helped secure Norway's independent status through the Integrity Treaty. In the final decade of his life, Nansen dedicated himself to humanitarian efforts, particularly through his work with the League of Nations. In 1921, he was appointed as the League's High Commissioner for Refugees, and his initiatives to assist displaced victims of World War I and related conflicts earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 1922. Notably, Nansen introduced the Nansen Passport, a certificate recognized by over 50 countries, which provided identification for stateless individuals. Tragically, Nansen's life was cut short when he passed away suddenly on May 13, 1930. However, his legacy lived on through the establishment of the Nansen International Office for Refugees by the League of Nations, which continued his work in assisting refugees. In recognition of his remarkable contributions, the office was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1938. Fridjof Nansen's expeditions, scientific achievements, diplomatic endeavors, and humanitarian work have had a profound impact on the world. His innovative approaches to exploration and his dedication to improving the lives of others continue to inspire and shape our understanding of the polar regions and humanity's capacity for compassion and resilience. Fridjof Nansen, born in Christiania, Norway, grew up in the rural surroundings of Storfrone Estate. Summers were spent swimming and fishing, while autumns were dedicated to hunting and the forest's winter months were filled with skiing, a passion Nansen developed at a young age. At 10, he attempted a dangerous ski jump, resulting in a near-disastrous fall, but his enthusiasm for skiing remained unwavering. Despite his love for sports and expeditions, Nansen's academic performance was average. Tragedy struck in 1877 when his mother Adelaide passed away suddenly. This led to the sale of the family estate, and Nansen and his father moved to Christiania. Nansen's sporting achievements continued to flourish, setting a world record in one-mile skating at 18 and winning the National Cross-Country Skiing Championship multiple times. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.